All right. It is uh, 8.05. I'm live here at the house. I'm going to share in a couple groups. I don't know how long we'll be on here. Expecting a phone call from Pastor Jason Robbins a little bit later tonight. Uh, Martha's still not feeling good. She's in the other room. She's still struggling. Uh, uh, they di some of you know that they diagnosed her with a, a pneumonia the other week. So, uh, Libby, good to see you on here. Sister Gail, Brother Wayne, Sister Deborah, Sister Teresa, Sister Barbara. Uh, no, Thomas Wilson, good to see you on here. Anyway, um, Pastor Angel Ocasio is having a, 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 a service at his house tonight. And y'all be praying for him. If he goes live tonight, I told him I'd share it. Jimmy Wilson, good to see you on here. Jimmy, I got to talk to Pastor Jason for a little bit today by telephone. He might be calling in to share to y'all. Uh, through the speakerphone because I still can't split screen. Okay, Deanna, good to see you. Rosalie, good to see you on here. Uh, if everybody will, Kathy Johnson, Evangelist Johnson, good to see you. Corey Timmons, if everybody will, please subscribe. Please, yeah, Thomas, yeah, she's on med medication, but she's still... It's, it's been a struggle this last couple of weeks. <coughs> Cameron, good to see you on here. Robert Gray, good to see you on here. Uh, if you will, please subscribe to the uh, uh, the YouTube channel, uh, Evangelist Mike Johnson. If you need any help, you can reach out to one of the ladies on here. They put the post on Signs, Wonders, and Miracles. I've had that site for a couple years, but I've never really pushed the site because uh, I've uh, had other people that's Colleen Hannigan, good to see you. I've had other people that have shared on the uh, the site and they've said, shared the Facebook videos. I'm gonna try to figure out how to do this uh, to download some of the videos and put them on the other one. But with all the restrictions that Facebook is putting on uh, we need to definitely be looking at, at other options. Okay, Timothy Christian, good to see you on here. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm going to try to share into the different groups here. Lisa Holman on here. Everybody can hear my wife coughing in the background on the video there. Sandy Hunter, good to see you on here. Uh, Deborah says 95 we only had 40-something on that because I never really pushed that one. We've got 20-something hundred members on Signs, Wonders, and Miracles, which I hadn't really been pushing that lately either. But for the last four years, we've had on average about 1,500 plus people a day on average now uh, to get on the live stream. And so uh, need as many people, okay? <clears throat> okay, we need as many people that will sign up and and get on there as soon as possible so that we can uh, share and be able to split screen and everything else we need to do on YouTube. Teresa Christen, very good to see you on here. Charlotte, good to see you on here. Okay. I'm going to share into uh, some of the groups right now. Okay. One man's jump. All right, praise God. I'm going to just share into the group. So y'all, Dustin Larson, good to see you on here. Uh, who else we got on here? Uh, Jackie Hill, Brother Mike Perry. You know, uh, yeah, hey man, y'all just keep on, y'all just keep on sharing. Uh, hey man, let me well, see. Man, had 40 something on that because I never really could. Okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to shut down every time. It's only letting me share into like five, and then it shuts me down. Amen. Okay. One. Also, two. Be believing. Amen. Jimmy says. I've been sharing your post like crazy. We'll get a thousand in a few days. Praise God, Jimmy. You know, uh, Jimmy, hey man, thank you for everybody sharing in. Yeah, 
we need to, uh, Mary, and I was looking, what, what did you say? And you said I messaged you, uh, was it on messenger? Cause I couldn't find, I couldn't find anything, but anyway, sometimes, uh, ones on Facebook messenger don't come through immediately, but you know what? I remember when I got to meet Jimmy and, uh, work with him on outreach and Jimmy, your, uh, senior pastor just shared with me today, uh, that he's going to, uh, help get into the schools. And let me tell you this, uh, I'll share with y'all at lunch. I'm going to share tonight and he's going to speak it too, as I'm trying to get back on the, uh, sharing group. <clears throat> y'all, if you will share and invite, share and invite. And I pray that, uh, Facebook won't restrict any of these shares. Alex Goodman, Goodson, good to see you on here. Okay. All right. And Alex, if you could help me, uh, Alexis, I'm sorry, Alexis, if you can help me get the word out uh, to everybody, help me get the word out to everybody that we need to have a thousand subscribers on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, so that we can get in to all the groups, okay? We want to get we want to get the word of God out everywhere, and I'm gonna start sharing uh, some of the videos into the other. Okay, I know some of these people probably say, "Man, he shares too much." Listen, sharing is caring, and let me also say this: we got a lot of people that struggle. We got a lot of people that struggle. Hey, Amen. All right, yeah, y'all reach out to as many people as you can. And uh, ask everybody. You know, we want everybody to know about the 14 that was healed of dementia. You know, I've seen several groups coming out, and they were sharing that we are looking. We're in such a time, okay? We are in such a time that there are so many people falling by the wayside. I mean, there are so many people fall. Amen. Thank you, Sister Deborah. Thank you to all of you that's sharing and helping get the word out. Because let me tell you this. If we just take a hundred of you and you get ten people to subscribe, that's more than a thousand. Amen. I'm looking forward to Pastor Jason uh, reaching out to me on a phone call. He said he's going to try to by 830 so I can get him on here and uh, share. Okay. He's, uh, I do have some news for y'all. Hey Amen. Get everybody on here. I do have some news for y'all. Okay. Hey Amen. Hallelujah. I hate to have to shut the phone down and then boot the phone back up. And then sometimes the phone says that the video is not even live. It's kind of crazy. But uh, I stayed here at the house. I wanted to go to the home service that Pastor Angel was having. And uh, and what ended up happening was, uh, hey Amen. Thank you, Marion. And listen, whoever on here says, "Hey, I want to help you out on Instagram. I want to help you out on Twitter." Uh, <clears throat> let me know. No, there's not an obligation. There's not an obligation. It's free. It don't cost anything. But see, YouTube wants to make sure that you've got enough people that's going to watch it. And so just encourage people, let everybody know that, hey, it's free. It don't cost nothing. You ain't signing up for a monthly charge. It's just that we want to get it on YouTube and share it. Now, in the past, I've see, I never set this account up to push for so many subscribers, and I'm going to tell you why. I've had people that's uploaded the videos on Facebook to YouTube before they required 1,000 subscribers. And we had some times where maybe 7,500 on Facebook watched it, but several hundred thousand on YouTube watched it. And I just <clears throat> was fine just leaving everything the way it was and other people shared. And I want to say this to everybody too, okay? I know some people's probably saying, but hey, if he gets so many shares, won't, it, isn't it possible that he could make money? I've heard that's the case, but let me tell everybody on this. I have never received one dime for any of the videos that's been shared. Never one dime. 
I remember one time somebody shared it into a group in Italy, and there was uh, 700 some thousand people that watched the video. <clears throat> okay? I didn't receive a dime for that, and I'm not even going to say who, you know, I just know that people here on this live stream was able to get it on YouTube, and a lot of people watched it. Okay? The main thing is that we reach souls that we are able to tell people oh. about uh, Jesus Christ. Okay? And yes, Shada's doing good, everybody that asked about Shada. Wasn't that amazing today, even at lunchtime, when the Lord gave me a word about somebody having pain halfway up the right forearm, and then somebody said, that's me, and they even sent me a picture showing the burn mark on their arm. Yeah, I've seen that, Robert. Y'all continue to lift up the family that's uh, burying their little baby boy, the Hudson family. And let me tell you this. I know it's tough. Pray for the peace of God that pass all understanding to be upon this family. I know as far as Skype, I know as far as uh, uh, Periscope and other avenues. Uh, just uh, keep that in mind. Hey, that's pretty cool. Amen. <clears throat> Good to see my brother on here watching. Amen. You know, I was sharing, and I know some of you probably in the near future are, are hoping to hear from other members of my family. Uh, I've got, y'all heard from the pastor that was in there. You've heard from the doctor that was in there. Uh, there are some of you that have seen a video before in the past when me and my dad did one uh, together. <clears throat> and as I was sharing with y'all, uh, my brother uh, got to witness a few things that I didn't get to witness. I think one of the most unbelievable miracles is the fact that before my mom entered into heaven, uh, I'll never forget. Well, I know that right before, and she shared and said, you are so amazing. You're so beautiful. And my dad asked her, said, honey, do you see Jesus? Do you see the angels? But uh, let me tell you this. My brother and other family members and other friends of the family, this was a night that I was at the house got to witness something that, as I say, Zephaniah 317, I will sing over you in gladness. And my mom's uh, mouth was not moving. She was under hospice care, and this was shortly before she entered into eternity. But her chest wasn't moving from what I was told by my brother and my daughter and my dad. My dad was the one that first told me about this. And he said that... Uh, there were three songs that was being sung, but yet it wasn't her singing it. And one was the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Dad told me two of them in Amazing Grace, and I wasn't sure until Crystal went and asked my brother, do you remember the third song? And he said it was How Great Thou Art. Now think about that, the song, the words of all those songs. Just think about that. It is amazing. Okay. God is good, is he not? God is good. Amen. Bridget Hughes, good to see you on here. Faye Ray, Judy Riddle, good to see you on here. Okay. Again, make sure, make sure to, uh, if you would, Deborah Elrod, good to see you on here. Make sure all of you <clears throat> will help get the word out on uh, the YouTube channel, okay? Because we want to reach as many people as we can. All right, let me do this. Man, hold on just a second. I just now realizing this, if I've got my phone booted off, uh, he's not going to be able to call me. I just now realize that. So it's 20 after, so I'm going to need to keep uh, the phone on. Okay, Darla? Good to see you on here, Alice Barnes. All right. Everybody share and invite, share and invite. I'd say there's a very good chance. I hope I didn't miss his call that he's going to be calling. That's 17 after. He said he'd call. Uh, hope, hopefully his goal was to call <clears throat> by 830. So let me just see him, just make sure. 
that I hadn't missed his call. Okay, nope, he has not called yet. <clears throat> okay, so hold on. God is good all the time. Yes, he is. Okay, so y'all share and invite. Share and invite. You're going to hear from a pastor. I'm going to ask him some questions when he gets on here. And you know what's amazing? You look at all the comments coming up, and it's kind of like, how in the world is Facebook making it look like there ain't nobody on here? Okay? So anyway, hold on just a second. Good to see Crystal and Greg on here. Okay? Pastor Darren's on here. Good to see you, buddy. Wow. <clears throat> Okay, so let me do this right here. Facebook making it look like. All right. So hold on just a second. I'm sharing to a ministry team in Australia. And some of you probably think about, that's probably not going to go good. Not with all the fires and the other stuff that's going on down there. Okay. But anyway. I know nothing by myself. Yet I am not okay. And I know some of these groups are probably thinking about, man, Mike's sharing into some of these uh, groups a lot. But listen, I'm not tagging everybody. See, if I was tagging everybody, I could be tagging 10,000 people, and they might get on to see what's going on here. What am I looking for on YouTube? Lisa, everybody on here, YouTube, it's Evangelist, Evangelist Mike Johnson. And I'm wearing a pink shirt. Just subscribe. It don't cost you any money. It's free. But I need a thousand subscribers for YouTube to allow me to go live. And I want to be able to live stream, whether it's like Facebook or YouTube, because we need to get the message out. We need to get the message out. Okay? If you're not sure, you can reach out to one of the women on here, and they'll help you. But we need to get it sooner than later because one of the things that I'm going to share right here in a minute, so don't go anywhere. Good to see Sister Terry Lovin on here. I got some good news for everybody, and hopefully he'll be calling. I just hope I don't shut him off on the telephone because I keep booting the phone up. But I'm just trying to reach all these groups before it gets too late. Okay? So hold on a minute. Two... India three, four, and five. All right, so hold on. I'm trying to get all this done. Couldn't find you on YouTube. Well, it's on there. It's on there. If you look on YouTube under Evangelist Mike Johnson, I'm the one with the pink shirt. If you're not sure and you're trying to find me, reach out to one of the ladies, and somebody probably can show you the link. But we need to get as many people on there. I got an announcement to make to everybody. Everybody share and invite. We got 44 people in here. God bless uh, everybody that's on here. 4-4, four, four, I like that number in there. 4-4 four, four, spiritually meaning that you are surrounded by angels and meaning Josh Puckett. Good to see you on here, buddy. And meaning that God's got you and the very thing that he's told you he wants done, he's going to do. Now, everybody listen up. Amen. Yeah, I know who put that on there. I know who that is. That's my brother watching under somebody else's profile because he said, I've seen the miracles happen. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. I'm going to tell you that one alone. That miracle alone is mind-boggling. How many of y'all would like to hear? You heard me share. I was not an eyewitness to that one, but I, but I am a witness to it because quite a few people told me. My dad told me. My dad's went on into eternity to be with Jesus but how many of you would like to hear uh, my brother share what happened uh, that night? He was there. He was there. I tried to do it and ask him for a password. Lisa, I'm not sure. I mean, they shouldn't ask for a password on that. Just ask the women. They'll help you with that. So let me say this. Uh, hey, man, my brother was there, and he witnessed, he witnessed that miracle along with my daughter, my dad and they were some other people. I think uh, several of my daughter's friends was there. My, yeah, 
and they and they witnessed this they witnessed this miracle amen so hold on just a second okay let me share into these others two three four and five as hold on as christians we believe somebody saying what are you doing mike i'm sharing in all these groups elder morrison good to see you on here brother i hope you're doing well bill and melissa good to see you on here amen elder morrison help me get the word out buddy we need dean still well we need his mate listen let me tell you all this right now dean Stillwell's on here everybody say hey to dean now, i ain't gonna say to my brother when i shared mom's miracle with his wife and he's from virginia greg i want you to know that dean Stillwell was permanently disabled with dementia he was the second one of 14 that was healed and his wife believed and went and got her husband and did exactly what I shared with her that God gave me. And we prayed for him. And he was supernaturally healed. And then his, then his baby, his son was supernaturally healed. His son had three operations, three medical operations for three of the best hospitals in the world. And nobody could help his son. But Jesus supernaturally healed his son the very next day after he was healed. Amen. God is good. I don't know when this is going to take place, but I'll keep y'all posted. But I'll find a day that my brother can get on here and share with y'all some of the some of the other testimonies uh, that that took place. I'll never forget that my brother telling me about being up at the lake and having a conversation uh, with mom about the spiritual realm. Listen, I know some people is going to be like, "What are you saying?" Well, go read the book Revelation of Hell by Mary Kay Baxter and see what she shares. And I haven't even talked to my brother about some of these details, but he knows what was shared with him. And if I brought that book and showed him the areas that I've highlighted that took place in that book, my brother's going to say, man, that's exactly some of the same things that our mother shared. Amen. God is good. God is good. Amen. I know my brother told, sent me a message on the phone and said it broke his heart that, that so many people don't believe. Don't believe. Okay, says Lisa, says, I found you and subscribed and shared. Praise God, Lisa. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, God is good, is he not, Dean? So, Elder Morrison, help me get the word out because let me also say this, Elder Morrison. I'm believing and listen to everybody that's on here. I want y'all to hear me out. I want y'all to hear me out. I am believing for an opportunity to reach a school. Everybody listen up now. To reach a school in every city. Everybody here? Every city in Gaston County to start with. And who's to say we can't reach a, a school in every city? in the state of North Carolina. Wouldn't that be awesome? How many of y'all would like to see that? A school in every city in Gaston County. Now, somebody's probably saying, what are you doing, Mike? Well, I can't remember if I shared any of these or not, but I'm gonna share again, and if I did, <laughs> if I did, then they got shared in twice. Okay, so again, and if I don't get a call right here in a few minutes, I'm going to share into one more large, one more group of five. If I don't get a call into that, man, Jimmy Wilson. Yeah. You seen that, didn't you, buddy? Jimmy, let me also say this. I love this. Jimmy said that night, man, my boys was at your house. God healed that boy, that girl from wearing glasses, and you saw that. She got her sight back. You remember that, don't you, brother? Do you remember when the women started screaming and shouting and they were dancing in the house? I mean, it was, it was, oh, I'm telling you, you knew something happened amazing. And I was like, my gosh, what just happened? And uh, the woman said, I can see. I don't need glasses no more. Jimmy was here. Jimmy, you remember also? When you was here for the first time, Sheila Ramsey, good to see you. And do you remember that uh, I asked you a question because Pastor Perry Shaw, God bless you. Chris, good to see you on here. Everybody, 
uh, make sure to get the word out and subscribe to the uh, the YouTube channel. Amen. Evangelist Mike Johnson, because we got to get a thousand subscribers. Okay. Amen. Felicia, send me another one. I get a lot of friend requests. Felicia, send me another one. Okay. And then let me know. Send me if, if we're not friends, any of you, and you're wanting to be friends on Facebook. Send me a friend request, and then tell me, and then let me know and send me a message. I want to tell you what went on amazing was between God and me, but I really want to share it. Wow. That's coming from my brother. Amen. Amen. Jimmy, you remember, and I'm going to get back to this. Listen to this, y'all. Jimmy, you remember when I asked you a question, you said, man, my little boy don't listen to nobody. I said, he'll listen to me. And you remember, Jimmy, that I shared with your son. I said, what would it do for you if you seen somebody blind that couldn't see that got their sight back? He goes, that would be crazy. When that woman started screaming and shouting and testifying that she could see without glasses, Jimmy's little boy followed me all over the house. You couldn't get a peep out of him. He listened to everything that I shared. And not only that, not only that, Jimmy, did God not move in a mighty way for your boy to receive uh, a financial miracle, amen, and later on, God performed a financial miracle, Chad, Pastor Chad Collins on here, good to see you, and Jimmy, let me also say this, wasn't it amazing that when I come to the outreach in South Carolina, and your little boy was out there leading the way, he was knocking on houses that said no trespassing, he, 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 his little boy that was in the house here, in my house, that seen the miracle take place, his little boy was flagged. I mean, he walked out in front of traffic and threw his hands up in there like this and stopped the traffic from being able to move and then give out water, hot dogs, and he was giving out Bibles. And brother, he was telling everybody about Jesus. There wasn't nobody bolder. Amen? Amen. Chris says, I want to tell you about a woman that got hit by a train. Amen. Let me let me say this too. <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to my brother joining me and being able to share. See, if I could split screen right now, I'd get him on here to share with y'all. Amen. I'd get him on to share with y'all. Because he I know. That's one thing about it. And my brother might be, not be jumping up and down seven days a week telling all of y'all about how amazing God is. But let me tell you one thing I do know. There ain't no denying, and he'll tell you that. And he'll also tell you, I might not be living as close as I could be to, to Jesus, but there's one thing about it. I know there's a God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Look at all the miracles that we have seen. Pastor Perry, I shared last night uh, again about how awesome it was that... Uh, Becky says, Brother Mike, what does it mean when I see an angel? That's a good thing, Becky. <clears throat> That's a good thing. You know what? Isn't it amazing when you get on here and you start talking to some of these women and you went from, I don't want to try no more, to I saw an angel. Amen. God is good. Anybody on here that anytime says, I need Jesus, I want you to say, <clears throat> I need Jesus and we'll pray for you. For salvation. Amen. I keep forgetting. I keep shutting my phone down. Jeanette, good to see you on here. We become Facebook friends today, didn't we? Praise God. Brandy Hamilton, good to see you. Pastor Jeff says, I'd like to meet you this summer. If you're down this way, all you got to do is let me know and I'll be there. Sent package here, called the company, said we were the fifth person to call. They said the plan was okay. Um, That was Greg that said that about the train. I'd like to know about that one. I'm not sure if I'm familiar with that one about the woman that got hit by the train. Amen. Yeah, look at this. Now, this started where he first came to my house for home prayer. God moved in a mighty way. His little boy seen a miracle, and then his boy needed a medical Miracle, but it was going to take $11,000 in medical costs for this to do. And 
God did it in four days. Now, let me say this. For everybody that says, can God move? Matter of fact, you remember, Jimmy, when I showed down to a church, Susan Toby, good to see you. Do you remember when uh, I share, showed up for the outreach at your church? Amen. And your pastor, your senior pastor said, God said, when Mike walks through the door, God said that when Mike walks through the door, that uh, <clears throat> we'll see miracles. You remember that? <clears throat> and it's so awesome. And I like what somebody else put on here too. Somebody just posted something and said, no matter your political position, it's time to pray. Let me tell you this. It is always time to pray. Every day is a day to pray. It's like I tell people all the time, don't get caught up, just like in church, don't get caught up in denominations, okay? Don't do it. Okay? Also, don't get caught up in politics. Just let your prayer be this. Lord Jesus, I want your will to be done. Your will, God, your will. And if we are not clear on this, I'm going to share something with y'all. Okay, number one, Pastor Jason spoke to me today and he's already sent me a copy of a contract with a school system that gives us pretty much permission to go in and do events. And we're looking at planting a church in the school. I'm looking for planting a church in every, in other words, listen to this. If it's Gastonia, I'm looking for planting a church in a school in Gastonia in Mount Holly, in Stanley, in Dallas, in Belmont, everyone, everyone, every city in the county. And we're looking at getting the word everywhere. Now, we've got several people on here right now saying, I need Jesus. So we're going to stop right now and do this right now, okay? If you need Jesus in your life and you know you are not where you need to be, I want you to say, I need Jesus. And we got several people on here. And let me tell you what, when I get done with this, I'm going to share a word of healing for somebody because God just gave me one. This is pretty neat. This is pretty neat. Don't go nowhere. And then the enemy wants to sit here and say, this ain't real. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's almost ridiculous. The enemy don't want to go all in with the word of God because the enemy knows he loses. Here we go. Amen. I want you to say, pray this prayer right now. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. And Lord, I ask you to come in my heart and redeem me and forgive me, God. I believe that John 3, 16 is real. That for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Now here, if you prayed that prayer, I believe that God is faithful. If you meant it, if you meant it and you're serious, I believe that God is faithful and God is just to forgive you and to redeem you, okay? And I want you, if you prayed that, to declare Jesus is my Savior. Read Romans chapter 5. If it's for salvation, rededication, restoration, if you're not where you need to be because you're like, man, I, man, I backslidden, Mike. I'm not living the way I should live. Then get up and fight again. Get up and fight again. Stand. When you don't feel like standing, stand. I see Melissa Knight on here. Amen. Even when you don't feel like standing, stand. I see Danny on here. And Danny, we are going to continue to pray. We are not going to let up. I, as I share with everybody on here, all of you, listen, we know, we know that little baby Braden is in the presence of Jesus Christ. There is no doubt about that. We know that. We all know that. But we also know that this is a tough time for this whole family. This is a mother and a father's child. This is a grandparent's grandchild. And we need to continue to pray for the peace of God that pass all understanding be upon each and every family member in Jesus' name. I'm praying. See, here's what I know. Here's what I know. 
Braden entered into heaven, I think at 11 months old is what I saw. Now, if anybody thinks that's the way it's always going to remain, that's not the case. That's not the case. As Colton said on, listen to this, y'all. Hear me, hear me. This is, a, this is a powerful nugget. Colton from heaven is for real, seen his baby sister, who was a miscarriage, but when he went to heaven, he seen her as a young girl. She had advanced from the miscarriage all the way to years down the road. And Colton seen his sister. Let me tell you, let me tell you, when I truly believe that when the family members, whether it's through the rapture or any goes ahead, I believe that when grandfather sees his grandson, he's going to be looking not an 11 month year old baby. He's going to be looking at a grandson who is in his glorified body that has advanced according to how Jesus sees him. And it is going to be amazing. I believe that. I have no doubt. No doubt at all. Danny, thank you. Thank mom. Thank dad. Thank the whole family that got on here through the prayers. And even say, even through that, you, you, you know how you know God is all in this? Is when the family members can say, thank you for praying. Well, the family members are not bitter saying, because it'd be easy. It'd be easy for some people to say, but Mike, you know, I don't understand this. How this, how that? I don't understand a lot of things. I just know that my Jesus still saves, still heals, still delivers. And let me tell you this brothers and sisters in Christ and every one of you on here, that little boy is rejoicing. You best believe that. That little boy is more handsome than he has ever been. You better believe that too. And I guarantee you that little boy is sitting here thinking, Mom, Dad, Grandpa, Grandma, all of you, if you could only see what I'm seeing, you would be amazed. So y'all keep this family in your prayers. Amen. You keep this family in your prayers. And we love y'all. We love all of y'all. We love you, the Hudson family. Okay. If you're on here and you said that prayer, say, I, Jesus is my Savior. Melissa Knight, if you prayed that prayer when you said, I need Jesus, put on here, Jesus is my Savior. Listen, y'all get ready to get being for a treat right here in a minute. When he gets on here, now I might have to call him because he might have already tried to call me and I missed him. But let me tell you this. Some of you have heard his testimony. Seven to 10,000 people was on one time listening. Uh, Pastor Jason Robbins said, some of his congregations on here right now from Kingdom Church, South Carolina. Let me tell you a little bit about Pastor Jason. Y'all want to hear something funny? How many of y'all? I'm going to get him on the phone in a minute. I'm pretty sure I will. How many of y'all want to hear something funny? Okay. How many of y'all? want to hear it's a truth bomb but it's funny i think it's funny i'm going to share it when we get this event lined up how many of y'all want to hear a truth bomb that's going to make you laugh melissa says jesus is my savior thank you melissa read romans chapter five melissa if any of you on here are not friends with me on facebook please send me a friend request I like that. Y'all see this? Crystal says, Bible says the loss of a child is like a bouquet of flowers in God's eyes. Strong. Amen. Becky says, Jesus is my Savior. Listen to this. How many of y'all ready? Brandy says me. Listen, if I could get him on here to split screen, he would be laughing his rear end, whatever you want to call it, he'd be laughing. Jimmy Wilson is a member of his congregation. He'll tell you Mike's right. John says, Jesus is my Savior. Thank you, John. Listen to this, y'all. And I'm going to call him in a minute. Listen. This man took his fiance at this time when he was a drug dealer, making lots of money and dealing with drugs, and he thought he was Mr. Got It Going On. He took his fiance at the time to the top of Crowder's Mountain in North Carolina yeah, and okay, John, I'll receive that. And he basically took her all the way top of the mountain and said, I don't want to live like this no more. I don't live like this no more. Uh, I don't need this Jesus you keep pushing. And he broke up with her. 
and made her walk all the way down to the bottom of the mountain. And then he went out and lived his life, wild, drugs, women, money, cars, homes, everything. And when you see how beautiful his wife is, you would even say, yes, it's Evangelist Mike Johnson, John. Evangelist Mike Johnson is the YouTube channel. You would even say that this, I, this is my joke, y'all. This is what I told him today. You know the proof that drugs is bad for you? Brother, you actually told your wife now, who was your girlfriend then, that you ain't even worthy of me. You ain't good enough for me. And that goes to show right there when everybody looks at your wife and looks at you that they're sitting there saying, man, you must have been on some really bad drugs for you to make a statement like that. But he did. Now, when he got redeemed and he got saved, the Lord chastised him and, and told him he had something he had to do. Let me tell you this. That's part of his testimony. He had to take his wife all the way back to the top of the mountain. And, he, and her testimony is, that when he said we need to go back to the top of the mountain, I thought, oh, Lord, here we go again. He's going to pull something stupid on me again. He got her all the way to the top of the mountain the second time, and this time he got on his knees and proposed to her and asked her to be his wife. Now, that's the difference between being hooked on drugs and being off of drugs. I joked with him today about it, but let me tell you what he, he shared today. Mike, our church is on board with what God's telling you. When we went and done the outreach event, and some of his congregation that's on here now will tell you, yes, yeah, a true statement of what Mike's saying. I call different pastors. God's telling me, 4th of July, we need to do this. I'll get back with you, Mike. I'll get back with you, Mike. I'll get back with you. I called him. Here's what he said. Past, I said, Pastor, God's telling me we need to do an outreach event. I'm in. You want me to tell you about it? I don't need to know nothing else, Mike. If you told me God told you to do this, I'm in. I'm in. Was it easy? No. No, the enemy done everything he could to shut it down. But it went down and it happened and we reached a lot of people. God gave a word to him when he was in the other church. Yeah, amen, Team Jesus. Jimmy's on here and I guarantee you, Jimmy's going to be one that's going to help uh, make this happen. Pastor Jason told me today, Jimmy, that Mike, you've got the support of the whole church. What school we're going in? And what I love about it was I shared with him the school that God gave me. And you know what he responded back? I've got you access to the whole county. I've got you access to the whole county. We can pretty much go in any of them that we want to go. Amen. So that's awesome, is it not? So that's what we're looking forward to. So we're going to go into all the schools. Jimmy, I love what you said that, hey, I'm all in. And Pastor Jason said that, uh, Mike, uh, we're, we're going to, uh, we're ready to sign the, the agreement and we're willing to put up whatever it takes because I know other people will come on board. Amen. Amen. God is good, is he not? God is good. Check this out. All right. Don't forget now, I need everybody, if you will, to uh, <clears throat> sign up on the YouTube, okay? Sign up on Evangelist Mike Johnson, YouTube. This weather is terrible outside. It's cold. It's raining. It's, it's tough. It's tough. I know Martha's really still sick or I would have had her. <laughs> 